Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am sharing with you a kind of haul video today. As you guys probably already know from the videos that you've probably already seen, or if you haven't, I'm gonna link them up here. I went to Korea recently. It was a life-changing trip to say the least, but I also went shopping and I got a bunch of very interesting stuff. I figure why not unbox all the stuff alongside you guys. It's been a while since I've seen these things and I'm not sure I remember every single thing that I got, which is why I I am also very excited to film this video. So if you want to find out what I got in Korea, I remember some of the things by the way, they are super cute. So you might want to stay tuned. <laughs> Let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, so I have all the stuff here. So before I went to Korea, I did do a little bit of research. I found out what products were trending, what was doing really well, and some products that just looked really cute. I couldn't help myself, okay? So went shopping, I got all these things. First thing in my magic bag is this. Now this I've already been using actually. This is from CNP Laboratory. They have some really great skincare products including this one right here which is the Propolis Energy Ampule. Their products are very moisturizing, very good for the skin especially for anti-aging. I got their cushion foundation. So as I mentioned before I've already been using this so the cushion is somewhere in my bags. My handbags are like a dark hole. I have no idea where the product is but all Korean cushions always come with a refill so I'm showing you the refill pack the product itself is really moisturizing on the skin very beautiful and very kind of chok chok you know that Korean word for like glowy dewy skin that's what it gives you next product now this one I'm really excited about this is the just G Lumiere primer from uh, I want to say Code Glow Color Cosmetics. So this one is kind of a gift set. It comes with this really pretty brush on the side, if you can see, and then a free hydro primer, which is also one of their best sellers. I was really excited about this because when I went to Korea, I was super inspired by Korean makeup. They have the most amazing, dewy, glowy skin. I don't know how they get it. It looks awesome and I thought why not buy some makeup products made by Koreans hopefully I get to achieve at least half of what they have I'm obviously gonna be using it in some of my makeup tutorials watch out for that by the way just in case you guys were interested in this makeup look right here it is on my Instagram page I will link it down below just in case you wanted to find out how I got this look next product they already have it in Malaysia but I was super interested because this one comes in a carry case this is the next care blemish clear cover plus case so cute. So in case some of you guys are not familiar with the 3M Next Care bandages, they are basically, uh, I completely forgot the word. Hi hydro... I'm gonna find out. I got it. They are hydrocolloid bandages. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but basically what they do is draw the impurities out of any acne that you have. Best to use when it's already come to a head, when you've got that white pus showing at the very top. It dries it down and sucks it right out of your skin. If you do it right, you will suck it out to the point where where there's like a stick of pus sticking out of that bandage. Oh my gosh, it is the most satisfying thing ever. Okay, this I thought was pretty interesting. We've got UV sunblocks, we, oh, obviously UV sunblocks. <laughs> We've got UV moisturizers. We've got UV primers. So this one right here is a UV protective gel with hyaluronic acid, which I haven't really heard of before. I don't know at which point in your skincare you are meant to be using this, whether it's meant to be underneath makeup. I am very interested to find out though, so. Wait, okay, this is an unboxing video. I should just unbox it right in front of you and find out the texture and see. Here we go. So this is the product and... Oh, uh, you know what? It's just basic sunscreen, I think. Excuse the dirty hand, by the way. I was playing with makeup. So this is what it looks like. Not very sticky, but it does have this kind of shine to it. So I guess it does make your skin slightly dewy, which is the way the Koreans like it, I'm telling you guys. Okay, the next products that I got are actually very exciting. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of Blackpink. So they did a collaboration with this contact lens brand called O Lens, and they came out with a bunch of colors. Now, I don't use contact lenses so I only put them on when I'm doing my makeup and I want the contact lenses to kind of just bring out the more interesting aspect of the makeup basically. I don't use them on a daily basis so I wanted to get only dailies because the monthlies I feel are not worth it for me personally. So I only got the dailies. They're in really pretty colors so I can't wait to try them out in my makeup tutorial. Now this one I have heard tons and tons about. This is the Neogen Bio Peel Gentle Gauze Peeling in Wine. 
Um, so these are basically disposable rounds that you use to cleanse your skin. These get rid of dead skin cells on the surface of your skin. It basically resurfaces and kind of smooths out your skin for the application of makeup. Even if you're not wearing makeup, basically you should be using some sort of exfoliant on your skin and this, it's got rave reviews, really high ratings, so I thought I would try it out. Another thing I got, this is not exclusively Korean, if I'm not mistaken it's actually Japanese, but it was selling for a pretty good price in Korea and I thought I'd get it. This is the Lucido L Argan Rich Oil Hair Treatment Oil. This one is a limited edition in the Cherry Blossom fragrance. Now, the reason why I got this is because my friend had it on a vacation that we were taking together. I didn't have a hair serum or oil or whatever, and my hair was feeling really dry. I do have bleached ends so I tried out her serum which was this one I loved it and decided I had to go out and get one so I got it in the cherry blossom fragrance and that's the end of the story okay this next package I honestly purely got because it was so cute so when you shop in Korea basically they give you a lot of samples every time you buy just the one thing they give you like a bunch of masks a bunch of like uh, moisturizers basically a lot of samples what I got from the brand actually was this right here oh my gosh guys this is so cute this is a watermelon ice sun stick so this is a collaboration with uh, Peko I actually have no idea who Peko is but Korean brands do a lot of collaborations with a lot of like anime and uh, I don't even know what they're called so I'm probably not the best person to be talking about this I only got it because it's so cute opening the packaging look it's a little ice cream oh okay should have removed that sticker <laughs> Let's pretend I didn't do that. Basically, what this is, is a sunblock on a stick that looks like ice cream. How cute is this? Seriously, how cute is this? I use sunscreen all the time. I run through my sunscreen like a mother. So I figure an impulse purchase like this couldn't do any harm. It's sunscreen. Everybody needs sunscreen. I also got these cheek patches. You put these on your cheeks. They're meant to reduce the size of your pores on your cheeks and keep them moisturized, especially if you have combination skin like I do and have an oily T-zone, but the rest of your face is dry. And then while I was in Korea, I just fell in love with all the lip colors that everybody was wearing. They had these like plummy, watermelony colors that look so good on the lips so I went crazy at each store I bought myself at least one lip product let me just swatch it for you this is the color that I got Ew, I'm so bad at swatching oh my gosh guys you know what I'm just gonna do this here so this is what this color looks like this product right here is in the color 03 and the way Koreans wear their lip products it's so beautiful they do that kind of powder lip trend so it's really dark and nice in the center and outside it's not faded out like the ombre lip trend but it is feathered out at the edges really softly and I love that effect next I spotted a brand that makes my favorite concealers they're called wake make and they also make this foil shadow so they come in a bunch of different colors but this color in particular this really white one it really drew my attention because it's got that kind of holographic finish and I love the way it looked I'm gonna just put it on the inner corners of my eyes just to show you guys what it looks like since it goes really well with this look anyway I think it's so beautiful and just to show you guys what it looks like up close as well you can use this in the inner corners you could also use it as kind of an eyeshadow topper I think it would look so beautiful now this next one I already have but I wanted to top up because I love it so much this is the Sodden Park Fil Bleh. Beauty Filter Cream so this one right here is their special spe oh my gosh guys <laughs> I can't pronounce anything this is their special edition that comes with a little brush this cream basically you use it underneath your makeup you can use it as moisturizer it's got a really beautiful kind of reflect to it that makes your skin glow it's so good another thing I saw Koreans do very frequently was apply their makeup with these beautiful fan brushes and I decided I was gonna try it as well this is the I love the brand name Philly Millie big fan brush so these ones they use for their foundation for their blush I love the way that the blush looks especially I honestly have no experience with these products whatsoever but they look so good when Koreans use them so decided
decided to try them out on my own. So many things, so many things. This is really random because I don't know what store I got this from. It just says true on the front here. Um, I know it's a lip product, but I don't know where I got it from. This is what it looks like. So pretty. Again, I've been looking for these rosy, plummy, just very soft muted colors. Koreans call these MLBB colors. I personally wouldn't, but they're gorgeous. And this is what the color looks like. I have rosy sand. Okay, next. These were some of my favorite purchases of the entire trip. Not because the products are amazing, but because they are so cute. Look, look! It's a candy bar! And a little magazine. And another candy bar. And this one. This one right here. It's freaking ketchup. How cute are these products? Seriously. I waited all this time to unbox these things with you. Or, like, unwrap these things? I don't know. Ta da! Lip products! They're lipsticks in such gorgeous colors. The first color I have here is pink. Nougat. That's how you pronounce it, right? Nougat? Nougat. I don't know. So this is what that first shade looks like. Pink Nougat. And then this one. I cannot believe I am unboxing these finally. They're so cute. Okay, this one right here is Coral Guava. Believe it or not, Jace actually helped me pick some of these colors. And then the ketchup bottle is also a lip product. This one is a lip tint. And oh no, it's got one of those twist up tops, which means I'm gonna have to wait a while before I can swatch this for you guys. Two hours later. Oh, here we go. And at the very top is the ketchup bottle. This one is in the shade Volkwang Brown. Moving on to the magazine. This is what it looks like. It's actually an eye product. How cute is this? Seriously. So this is what it looks like. And these things went viral for a minute. I think maybe a couple of years ago. Because basically what you can do with this brush right here is pick up these eyeshadows and with one swipe you're supposed to get a really nice gradient of color from dark to light so like dark to light just with this one product, which I think is a fantastic idea, especially for Koreans with the kind of makeup that they wear. This is a bit of a random purchase, but I have been going crazy for small makeup brushes that you can do detail eye makeup work with, and I found these. They were cheap, and I just had to get them. They're from e.l.f. I know it's not Korean, but we don't get e.l.f. here in Malaysia, so I jumped at the chance. This was a really nice, cheap, affordable box of eyeshadow brushes, which I haven't tried yet. Oh, they are pretty decent quality, actually nice and soft but dense at the same time. I feel like they would be really good for blending out makeup on the eyes. Cannot wait to put these into rotation with the rest of my eye makeup brushes. And moving on to the duty free packages. First thing I got and I remember I didn't get all Korean brands. Yeah, no, I didn't. So I got this from NARS, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And I've wanted this for a really long time. Really long. The Yachio Kabuki brush. I have seen people use this brush and get the most seamless, gorgeous application of like blush and powder. It is so pretty and soft and I cannot wait to brush on my blush with this. But I want to wash it first, obviously, so... By the way, just so you guys know, all this packaging is going into recycling. I am also trying the eco brick, which is when you stuff plastic that can't be recycled into a bottle, which they then use to build houses and furniture for the less fortunate. I feel like that's such a good initiative, both for saving the planet as well as helping out people who are less fortunate. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, go and look up eco-bricking and yeah, just do your part for the environment. Next up from Etude House, they've got this gorgeous colorful drawing launching kit. So in it is a blooming lips talk lipstick in this gorgeous kind of raspberry color and then what I was really drawn to was this one actually this is a watercolor blush and this one just looks so gorgeous I had to try it out and then also in the set there's this colorful drawing fantastic color eyes oh my gosh the names are so cute and then also in that little packet were some jelly blushers that I got from to Kufu school I don't know how I ended up getting these products that were so in theme oh they're just so cute I love them okay Oh my god, how cute is this? It's like a tin packet and that's what the blush looks like. So they are cream blushes with insane pigment if you can see right here. And then this one right here is the second color. This one is a lot less pigmented than the first one. This is called Peony Mauve. I also got this. Now this is a cult product in Korea. It's the Jong Sam Mul Jong Sam 
Mueller, Mueller. I don't know guys. She's a really famous makeup artist. She also has her own channel here on YouTube. I'll link it down below just in case you guys want to check it out. She does some amazing Korean inspired makeup or just purely Korean makeup. And she came out with a makeup and skincare line. And this one is her Essential Mole Cream or Mule Cream. Again, <laughs> not sure how to pronounce it. But this stuff, people say, it's like the equivalent of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream in Korea. This is what it looks like. Very sleek, very gorgeous, and also very expensive. I cannot wait to try this out because everybody has been raving about it in Korea. Oh, it looks delicious. I bought the Rose Royal Modeling Mask Pack and it comes with, I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. And a little mixing bowl. I'm sure you mix it all together and apply it to your face. That is all you need to know. Mixer and applicator. And all of this is resealable, so you don't have to worry about it drying out on you. Last packet. I'm gonna save the best for last. I already know what's in here. I'm very excited about it. But first, the Tom Ford Traceless Touch Foundation Case. I have the Traceless Touch Foundation for some reason and I did not buy the case so I went and got it and I will reunite it with the foundation very soon. Another thing I got, um, something that I've been looking at for a very long time now, I tried it on once in store and it just blew my mind but it was so expensive. It was just sitting in my wish list for the longest time and I decided to finally get it. This is the Peter Thomas Roth rose stem cell mask. Despite the fact that I've waited so long to get it, I actually do think it's very worth the money because it's 150 mils and the results I got were just amazing after the one application. So I don't know, I've been obsessing over it ever since and I'm so glad I finally got it. I'm actually really excited to use this stuff guys. Like I've got all the things that I've been dreaming about for so long. And these have just been sitting in my bag waiting for this video to be filmed. The final things that I got were these. Now I had to get two just because I can't find them in Malaysia and they are so insanely expensive and I was getting them duty free so obviously I had to get two. These are the Bio Effect EGF serums. Now these have been raved about for years and years and years and I remember I received them in PR once and I honestly just didn't know anything about the brand at the time. I didn't know how amazing these serums were. And so they were sitting in my drawer for the longest time to the point where I think they expired. So I threw them out. And I thought they were sample sizes, but I kid you not, this is the actual size that the serum comes in. It's literally this tiny. That's all you get. And this is like, as far as I know, as far as I've heard, as far as my research has gotten me, magic in a bottle. What it's meant to do, restore skin's natural radiance, reduce the appearance of sun damage, fine lines and wrinkles, diminish dry spots, leaving skin soft and hydrated, and contains only seven ingredients apparently. And I'm so excited that I finally have my hands on these. Just, oh my gosh, look at it. And guys, that is pretty much my entire Korean haul. Now I'm not sure if that's a lot of stuff in your eyes, but in mine, this is a sh load of stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of unboxing haul video and if you did I would really appreciate it if you subscribed to the channel and clicked on that bell for the notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope I see you in my next video and I love you guys. Bye!